All right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Oh, that's a nice strike. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Left hand punch from the clinch. Caught that kick there. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. All right, close guard now. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. He hasn't cared for playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Nurmagomedov. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. He should be defending right now. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Somehow stays in the fight. All right, full guard here, DC. We'll see how soon he tries to pass. Well, he needs to be passing immediately. In the full guard is where you are in most danger as a top fighter because they have all of their submissions. Right. They have the guillotine, they have the arm bar, they have the kimuras, they have all their locks when they're in the full guard. So if you pass, you really do limit the danger that you're in from the top position. So 31 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, he eats a knee there. That does not taste good. Oh, the master of the transition. Nice scramble. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, that's a beautiful strike there by Khabib. Don't call him a one-trick pony. Don't call him a one-trick pony, John, because he isn't. He is a guy that is able to mix everything up inside the octagon. Oh, and he caught the kick. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Big kick. We'll see if he can finish. Nice push there. Big head kick land. Oh, nice. Under a minute to go. Oh, a little single collar tie there. And they separate. Him with the left hand. He's got the single collar tie. Left hook counter. Thirty seconds now to go in round one. Twenty seconds to go in round one. Straight punch lands. Single collar tie here. Right hand punch to the clinch. Good knees. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this man. 
Round two straight ahead. All right, next round is underway. He did a great job in the previous round, largely untouched. Reminds me a little bit of Dominic Cruz, the former UFC Bantamweight champion. Defense is the primary focus, and that was certainly evident in the previous round. Yes, Dominic Cruz was one of the more brilliant defensive fighters we have ever seen. He did it with footwork. This man tonight has done it with his blocking skills, with his vision, and his ability to just not be where his opponent thinks he's going to be. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Punch over the top. Oh, man. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Great posture control by his opponent. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Blocks that kick to the body. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. And they separate. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Nice move and punch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Got clip with the right hand. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Oh, he hurt him bad with the jab. Caught the kick. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, but even on that, obviously. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Habib lands early, and he lands often. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. All right, boy, Ty Clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Single collar tie now. Big punch to the body. That knee attempt is blocked. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Here he is back in the clinch. Caught that. No, there's danger in that too. If you start reaching out to catch that kick, here comes the high kick. And then you're in a lot of trouble. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. All right, single collar tie now. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, collar tie. Right hand punch the clinch. Attacking the body now, that shot blocked. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Nice strike. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cuppy. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point, he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting him. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finishing. 
lands a switch knee. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, and he caught the kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the field. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not throw everything with absolute power, but he was touching the entire time. Then every now and again, he would set down with a strike that was really damaging his opponent. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Ooh, big shot land. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is the technique you use to really slow down your opponents. Oh, combination of knees. That is not what he is looking for. He better raise that guard quick. He better raise that guard or he's going to fall asleep. You cannot allow someone to knee you in the head. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Nice body kick right under the elbow. And they clinch once again. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Real quick leg kick. Great punch. Back and forth we go. Immediately gets the underhook. In the tie clinch, look for the knees to start. The elbow there. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Just missed on the front kick there. Plus right hand is true. Got the single collar tie. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Good punch. Again, they clinch. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked. The hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything come. Trying the flying knee there. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Just missed with the elbow there. here and they separate just misses with that one 
right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Well, I know Javier Mendez has said Khabib likes to go southpaw at times in training. Looks pretty good on the feet tonight. He looks really good in the stand-up. That is a part of his game that's underappreciated. He's a very good striker, and as he gets more comfortable in the octagon, he will continue to show. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Job by him there to slip that off. Him. Big punch lands. Massive elbow lands from the clinch. Throws the left hand. Oh, huge knee to the head. He went high on that one. Another clinch position. Watch the tricky trips that he uses when he's in close. Nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Quick level change now. He went single into a high class. Oh, he's taking his dude for a ride. Oh, Slams him on his back. What a takedown. How's that feel to be on the wrong end of that? Not me. I do not stop. Stop. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, here we go, DC. Our next round is underway, and he's chasing some punch stat records tonight. That was some serious volume and efficiency in the previous round. Normally, you see that in boxing, where a guy just throws so many strikes, but this man has taken to the octagon looking to break all the punch records before the night is over. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Nice punch lands over the top. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. That was a thudding leg kick. Oh, lands a left punch there, and a lot of it's set up by good footwork. Really great footwork and setting traps so that he can land that beautiful left hand. Single collar tie now. Nurmago Medov's shot is blocked. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. And they separate. Gets the elbow up into the target. Well, missed on that one. Closes the distance, gets a single collar tie. Left hand is true, that will absolutely work. He throws it like a piston, back and forth. He's landing that beautiful left hand. All right, single collar tie now. Right hand punches the clinch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Tries to work it into a takedown. Look at him chop the wood. Chop the wood with his leg kick. Oh, and he connects there. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. And he landed the right hand there. Ooh, now he's got the tie plumb, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and then try to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. And they separate. And under three minutes now to go on the round. Oh, smaller tie. Nice leg kick land. Ooh, nice knee to the body. Just what he needed there. Takedown defense holds up. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. Nervago Medov gets caught by the solid uppercut there. He's a hard guy to hit. That one certainly found the target. And they separate. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick. And all I can think of, better him than me. No wasted motions on those kicks. There's no tell. Very nice leg kick for him there. Can't take too many of those. Look at that leg.
big punch lands through the middle. Way to sneak that elbow around the side of the guard. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Outstanding kick there by Nirvago Mel. Able to check the high kick. Oh, beautiful counter with the punch there, and certainly making good use of what is an obvious edge in reach. Another punch position. Magomedov gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. All right, so he lands his first takedown of the fight after many failed attempts. So he stayed committed. Now he has the fight in his wheelhouse. Let's see what he can do. Side control now. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground side. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Close guard. Nurmagomedov's back in half guard. He's very comfortable here. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. Nice punch lands over the top. Final seconds here. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Nice punch, Lance. There's no give on that leg kick. Ooh, what a head kick. Punch coming is blocked. That's a good right hand. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast. Always gets his hand right back to his face. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, big knee. Oh, nice high kick. Nice punch there by Namako Medov. It's such a fast leg kick. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws his punch. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch in the clinch. Can't take many of those, you better check. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. That's a big strike right there. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by Nurmagomedov. Stuffs that takedown Quick attempt entry, without a Nice single leg entry, rotates ahead outside to a high garage. Oh. Back up. Visibly limping here. <laughs> Tries the flying knee to no avail. Look at the whip action that comes to him throwing that kick. 
Beautiful. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Nurmagomedov gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Nice leg kick. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Powerful leg kick land. Oh, nice. Nice. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh, and he caught the kick. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. That one snuck in. Nice strike. 90 seconds and counting to go in the fight. Misses with the left hook. A oh, little single collar tie there. And they separate. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Again, in the clinch. What a punch. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. What a fight. Oh, big left. Rock him, shock him down the stretch they go. He got him. Now a knee. Oh, big left hook there. So the fight goes the distance as we await the judges' scorecards, but certainly a dominant striking effort out of that fighter tonight. John, he used his best weapons in order to carry him to a decision, a very clear decision, in my opinion. A great performance tonight by this young fighter. Looks like the official decision is in. Yes, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 48-47. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Khabib the Eagle My congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here too. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an 